Okay, people, I speed this up a little bit. And I am doing a transition color there. Move in a little bit closer for you. Get this camera right. You know how we do it. There we go. Now, I put that milk, yeah, that Pro Primer, that LA Pro Primer uh, in the color white. Not milk, I'm sorry. I'm thinking about NYX. And then I use that color right there as the transition color that you see that I, uh, when I came in on this video. But we're going to emphasize the Zulu palette and we're going to use that yellow right there. And I'm going to use that on my lid, okay? And I put that white uh, primer on so we bring out that yellow, make it pop more. I didn't wet my brush. I'm trying my hand at narration here. Trying to add a little music. And see how these things work out. Always good to try something different and expand your skills. Because editing, is it's a lot of work, but you got to know what to do. Sheesh. Okay. And then I'm angling it out there. Um, or winging it out there at the end. That yellow. And you're going to see how that comes together at the end. And then I'm going to go in with that orange in the transition area. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to take that orange and I'm going to swipe that orange all the way up to my brow bone so I don't have to really do a highlight, a brow bone highlight. Yes, I'm cheating. See, there we go. Yep. using that flat brush right there and I'm going to take that flat brush and we're going to go back in that Zulu palette with that brown color and we're going to like cut that crease there yeah darken it up there and it came out really nice with that orange because it doesn't look like a brown line it actually looks like a darker orange so, so I'm really uh, I really like the way that came out See how I, and I blend it out right there and I'm gonna do it again but yeah it's yeah that brown it just goes in with that orange mm -hmm. and I'm also winging that out too using that flat brush to be a little precise and then I'm gonna flick it upward you know to blend it out just a little bit, not too much. So yeah, it's giving a more cut crease effect. And I like it. Blend that out too. A little bit, just a little bit. Not too much. And then I'm going to blend out that uh, the end, the angle there. Mm -hmm. See me smiling. It's coming out real nice. Now I'm going to go in there with that orange on the bottom and line that out. And you see as I brought it to an angle there. Yeah. I'm showing you right there
and then I'm going to go in with that brown on top of it and I thought I was going to line it but it didn't really come out uh, emphasized as much as it did on the cut crease part not the way I wanted it to at least but it's all right it's all right I'm looking for the right uh, brush and I can't find it so of course I'm going to just use the brush that came with the bottle of gel mm -hmm. so I'm going to come back with the rest the final look the rest of my look because the camera cuts off on me here because it's getting too hot but you've seen okay most of it all so let's go on to the next clip I'm back with the finished look you like it I thought these earrings and this um, eyeshadow would go good together let me know what you think about this look okay I stepped out of the box um, and just did it with these real bold colors, but they're perfect for spring. They're perfect for the summertime. And I wanted to know how it would look on me, you know, and I like it. I like it. Let me get you in close. And I went back to the, um, LA Girl, um, Pro concealer in the white and I went back to that because what I was having with is I like the Juvia's Place palettes however they've been all they've been doing a little uh transferring okay a little too much uh transferring uh for my liking okay and I haven't been experiencing that really until I used this palette these palettes okay so I went back to the basics and I have had this on okay and I've had no transference whatsoever with my hooded eyes using it so you know sometimes we just got to go back to basics okay and that's what I did and it worked out and I'm glad I did because now I know what will work and will help stop the transference of um some of these eyeshadows okay because i especially these uh metallic 
metallic-y, really glossy um, shadows. They've been doing a really uh, a lot of transference on me. So I'm going to also work those out too and come up with something so that they won't transfer so much uh, on my eyelids because I do have the hooded eyes. So that's all I wanted to say and I hope you like this look. Okay. And um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because there's more. Thank you for your uh, views and your comments. I really appreciate them. I really do. Thank you. Uh, other than that, you know, stay blessed.